Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I missed you all so very much. Today, I am creating a side entryway table made out of cardboard. First, I'll be starting off with two rectangle pieces of cardboard, and I'll leave all the sizes in the description box below. I've already pre-cut all of the pieces that I'm going to be gluing inside, but basically I'm going to be covering the rectangle with the smaller rectangle pieces. And I'm using Gorilla Glue Sticks and my hot glue gun. And while I have the chance to say, I know I've been in my A. I am working on that. I just had a couple more projects that I've taken on and I'm trying to um, organize everything in my life. At the moment, I now have a photography business called On A Whim and you can find us at On A Whim on Instagram. And I also started a new YouTube channel with a few girls and we try different things. So if you can, please go and like, comment, and subscribe that channel. We would greatly appreciate your support. And be sure to connect the corners also. And I'm using these two pieces of wood to put at the top and the bottom of the entryway table for more support. And after I've done that, I'm just gluing on my last two pieces of cardboard. And make sure that the corners are glued together also. So to fill the inside in, I'm using this spray that turns into foam and fluffs up when it dries. I got this from the Home Depot Gaps and Caps. Um, this was only around like $3 and I used two cans. I think next time I'll grab three cans. I think two cans did two thirds of the job, but I didn't feel like going back to Home Depot. So to fill in the rest, I just used pieces of cardboard. And then I grabbed the last piece of cardboard and I covered the back of the table. And y'all, these glue sticks are bomb.com. One of my subscribers told me to grab a pack of them and I did, as you can see. And it's been amazing since then. Like I have had nothing peel back up. Everything is solid. It is it's amazing. Go and get you some Gorilla glue sticks. So after I glue all the sides down and together, we can start on the decorating. I took the box outside and spray painted it silver. And I'm going to now take a coat of Mod Podge and put that on one side of the entryway table and then cover it with crushed mirror rocks. As you all know, I have my original technique with the mirror crush rocks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to leave that video in the description box below. But I usually use that, but since I did a project for a friend, I had some left over and that's why I'm using it in this project. But if you do not want to spend all that money on Crush Mirror, like I said, I'll be leaving that other video to show you how I made my Crush Mirror in the description box below. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, why don't you put a paper underneath? Like the glass is going to fall. You're going to waste glass, blah, blah, blah. Listen, there's a lot of things that I should be doing, like paying my taxes on time. A lot of things like I, I'm hard headed. I'm going to learn the hard way. It's going to be okay. So while the crushed glass is drying, I am going to take this piece of foam board um, that is the same size as the side of the entryway table, and I'm just going to cover it with mirror reflecting paper. Now you should probably use a blade, but I am using my drill bit to slice. I decided to make some designs on the side of the entryway table 
to spruce it up and to get rid of those little dents that I see. And as you guys can see, I have on a totally different outfit and that's because I put a little bit too much of Mod Podge on it and it took a little bit longer to dry. After I'm done, I made another panel and I'm gonna be connecting these panels to each side. And I made three more panels to go inside of the entryway table. So I'm gonna glue everything down. As you can see, there are squared mirrors on one side of it and that is because the paper ripped and I didn't wanna go out and go get more so I just covered the rip with the mirrors. Like I told y'all, don't give up. If something happens, just work with it. One of the last things I did was take the Mod Podge and the glass mirrors and I went around the edges to fill in the gaps. And just to do last minute touch ups. And I let it dry and then I added these two mirrors at the top and voila, a beautiful freaking entryway table. Styling on a budget. I spent less than $20 on this table. Um, most of everything I use, I already had at home. And for those who are gonna be in the comments like, is it sturdy? Can I put anything on it? It is very sturdy, like, come on now. Did you guys see how I stuffed it with all that stuff? <laughs> with all that foam and stuff? It's so sturdy. That foam is definitely a winner. Like I'm gonna definitely use that foam in more projects because it saved me so much time. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching my channel, for tuning in, for cutting on that notification bell, for subscribing, liking. I really appreciate all of that. You guys really make my day every time. I really love you all. Please stay safe out there and take care of you and your loved ones. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and to hit on that notification bell.